Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and did you know, just like most other zoos out there, we do a lot of conservation work here, and we work a lot with birds of prey, raptors. And today, we're gonna take an injured owl over to a raptor center in Bozeman, Montana, and get an eagle in return for release. Because just like your doctors and nurses love and care for you and hopes to get you home one day, we're doing the same thing with wildlife right here in Montana. got the owl to Bozeman and they immediately, you know, they're pretty quick there. That staff there is incredible. So they were quick to assess the owl, kind of pull its legs, feel its wings, make sure if there's any broken bones, what's going on. Once we get the bird in hand, uh, we do a rigorous um, examinations, fluids, x-rays, get their injury stabilized. Definitely noticed she was some limited eyesight in the bird. Make sure we have no open wounds. You know, since animals can't talk, we got to make sure we go through every limb of the bird. Going through that process, I'm also noticing anything odd. I palpated a fr fracture immediately, got some x-rays, so we knew we had to stabilize that wing. And also giving her fluids. We know she got hit the day before, she hasn't had anything to eat and we, you know, we need to rehydrate her a little bit. With this bird, there was some obvious head trauma with bleeding through the nares and in the mouth. So really I just wanted to clear her airways, get her feeling a little bit better. So we just go through and stabilize for the clinical signs that we do see and getting that bird hopefully, you know, one step closer, getting back out there. We love working with the Raptor Center. They are an unbelievable organization. They do such good work. They cover the entire state of Montana. It's a big state. So to be able to help on the at least the southeastern side of the state and help them not only capture injured raptors but get them to Bozeman, we love to be a part of that. The Montana Raptor Conservation Center is a raptor rehabilitation center that's been around since 1988. We get injured raptors throughout the whole state of Montana, try to fix their injuries and get them back out there and set them free. The birds at the center, we have about 30 um, in various stages of rehab. Our ultimate goal is to, like I said, rehabilitate these guys and get them back out there and help educate the folks on what they can do to keep these guys safe, you know, and where to take them to if they do find a downed bird. day like today where we're able to actually get an owl over to the Raptor Center in the same day, drive back to Billings to release an eagle. It's an all-day event. I and mean, we're sitting at almost, what, nine, ten hours of a, of a day that we spent here. And so it's a big deal. Catching an eagle in that flight barn is pretty amazing. Um, it never gets old. It's just one of those things you see that magnificent bird flying over your head like that and the strength that they have in their wings. Um, to be able to catch them and actually hold them is, is it's just, just one of those feelings, I, it's hard to explain. Um, you know, when you think of what that talent strength they have in their feet is pretty amazing. Like this girl up here, she could have 750 to 1,000 pounds of grabbing power in her feet. So when you go to catch one of these guys, you better be careful preparing yourself and Thank God Jeff didn't get grabbed. We don't want to wear them out totally, um, but once they get on the ground, they're pretty easy to catch. But yeah, getting them on the ground is the hard part.
She had been down for quite a while. The big thing was they wanted to feed her up, get her healthy again, to give that wing time to heal, and sure enough, it healed, and here we are today. She is ready. We'll do one quick look over. She's got a big crop of food in here, so she's pretty set. He actually opened the crate and the bird came out. So she took a little time, got up in the air, and then a cool thing was she went right back to her nest where it all began. And that's just, that's unbelievable. When she circled and immediately landed on her nest, I gotta be honest, I teared up just a little bit. It was really nice because I'd seen her sitting on that nest for week after week. And I don't know if she had eggs or babies, but just for her to know where she was right away, that was so sweet. We don't get sad when we do the releases because it's our main goal of what we want to do in sending these guys back out there. There may be some happy tears there, but they're definitely not sad tears. To be able to see them as they come in and to see them fly free like that, that's why we do what we do. Incredible day. This is what it's all about. And, and to be able to get out of the office for a day and to see this and spend the time in this landscape, it doesn't get any better than this.